3, 2. Properties of parallel lines. Identify all the numbered angles that are congruent to the given angle. Now the given angle is this one here. Now we see it is inside right here. 4 is alternate interior angle to it. So 4 is congruent to this. Also, 4 and 5 are corresponding angles, so they are congruent to each other. And 3 is corresponding to 94, so they are congruent to each other. So the angles that are congruent are 3, 4, and 5. And that's number 1. Number 2. Supply the missing reasons in the two-column proof. We are proving that angles 1 and 3 are congruent. Our second statement says angles 1 and 2 are supplementary. Angles 1 and 2 we notice are same side interior angles. So that's why they're supplementary. Same side interior angles are supplementary to each other. Now we're also told in the statement that angles 2 and 3 are supplementary. Same deal. They are also same side interior angles, and they're supplementary for that reason. So if two angles are supplementary to the same angle, they are going to be congruent to each other. And that is number two. Number three, it says find the measures of angles one and two and justify your answer. So angle one, let me zoom in that a little bit. Angle one and 50 are corresponding. So that means they're going to be equal. So angle one is going to be 50. And we're going to say because they're corresponding angles. Angle two, angles one and two are same side interior angles, which means they're supplementary. So if 1 is 50, 2 has to add up to 180 from that. So 180 minus 50 is 130, and that is because 1 and 2 are same side interior angles. And that's number 3. Going to number 5. Find the value of x, then find the measure of each labeled angle. Okay, notice how these two are same side interior angles. That means they are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So setting up an equation, x plus x minus 26 equals 180. So now we solve this. Combine like terms, we have 2x minus 26 equals 180. Add 26 to both sides, you get 206. And then divide both sides by 2, and you get 103. That is this angle here. To find the second angle, you subtract 103, that x, minus 26, and we get 77. So let's type it in. So x is 103, and then x minus 26, the other angle, is 77. And that's number 5. Going to number 7, it is asking you to find the values of the variables. So let's take a closer look at that. So the first thing I notice is that x and 3y are corresponding angles. So what I'm going to do is replace that x with 3y. And now I notice that 3y and y are a linear pair, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So 3y plus y equals 180 degrees. Add those up, you get 4y equals 180. Divide by 4, you get y equals 45. Now we can use that to find x. Because remember, x equals 3y, so 3 times 45 will be 135. So let's type this in. So x is 135, and y is 45, and that's number 7.